hello, my name is Geekin, and today I'll be showing you how to separate your audio channels in OBS. It's a simple three-step process, and I'm here to guide you through the entire thing. So the first step is to download an application that creates the virtual audio interface on your computer. It is completely free, and you can download it via the link in the video description. Once you have it downloaded, come up here and extract all. Then you want to right click on VB Cable Setup X64 and run it as administrator. You want to make sure that you do this because if you don't, it won't have the necessary permissions that it needs to install this into Windows. I've already got it installed, but you can just click the install button there. It takes two seconds and once it's installed, you will have a new virtual audio interface on your computer. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to configure Streamlabs OBS but for those of you that use OBS Studio, the process is just the same. So what you want to do is open up OBS, go into the settings, and the first thing that we want to do is set up the audio channels into OBS. So we go over here to the audio tab. You want to set your microphone that you use for your stream right here. So I'm going to set mine to chat mic. Yours can be Razer or whatever. You, you'll know what your mic is called in Windows. You'll select it there. The next thing that we want to do is change the desktop audio device to the new audio interface, which should be at the very bottom, and it should be called Cable Input VB Audio Virtual Cable. Once we've done that, we want to come over here to the Output tab. We want to change it from Simple to Advanced. That will give us the control that we need to select where the audio tracks are going. Make sure that your audio track for streaming is set to one. And then we come over here to recording and we uncheck every box except for the box for channel two. Now, once we've done that, we can come over here and click the little wheel above your audio mixer. This will give you access into the advanced audio controls for setting where each one of those channels gets routed to. So all we have to do is come in here under Cable Input VB Audio a Virtual Cable and untick the box for channel 2. This will prevent the channel from being recorded to your local drive. And that's it. Um, you'll want to do one more thing so that you make sure that you can hear the content that you're playing through that virtual audio interface. You want to come back into the advanced settings and change the cable input to monitor and output. Now, how do you get your content to go into that audio interface? Well, Windows 10 has this very nice feature that came out uh, earlier last year that allows you to set where all of the devices uh, get routed into different programs. So all you have to do is right click on the speaker and go to open sound settings. Then you'll scroll down to the very bottom and it says app volumes and device preferences. This lets you set the input and output device on a per program basis, which is really, really nice. So for instance, we need to come in here and make sure that OBS gets output to a device that we can hear so that that monitoring will work properly. So we can set up, for instance, I'll set up my uh, system interface, which will then allow me to hear it through my GoXLR. But in your case, you can set it up to your speakers or your headphones, whatever you use to listen to the content on your computer, set that interface here. Then what we want to do is open something like, for instance, Spotify. And you, if you notice, just having Spotify open won't trigger it in here. That's because Windows is not detecting any audio from that program. So what you'll need to do is come in and actually play some content to get it to pop up. Once it's popped up, you can come in here and select that new interface so cable input vb audio virtual cable what this will do is it will then route spotify through that interface so if we cut this back up now you can notice that we have it coming through obs so we've got our mic and we've got our music coming through obs great well let's test the recording to make sure that the music does not get saved so right now I'm just going to talk through the recording and show you that only my microphone will be picked up and recorded. Okay, we have now stopped that recording, so let's go listen to it and just verify that there is no music on it. So right now I'm just going to talk through the recording and show you that only my microphone will be picked up and recorded. And that's it.
super super simple and i'll be coming out with a new video for those of you who have twitch soundtrack on more advanced things that you can do uh later on down the road if you have any questions my twitter is twitter.com slash geekin i'd be more than happy to help you with any issues that you uh may come across along the way thank you for checking out this video and i'm always here to help hope you guys have a fantastic day